Hey guys, Alec Beer Scuba. Yeah, Scuba Tech Tips. Now, first of all, you might notice that we've changed venue again. We've had several. And, 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 and interesting enough, I'm back at my own old dive store. Yeah, Scuba 2000. Scuba 2000, yeah. My own dive store. Uh, uh, we, Diane and I sold this dive store three years ago, almost three years ago. We built it uh, 23 years ago. Yeah, great dive store. And, uh, and uh, we've come back here uh, by invitation of the, uh, the new owners and uh, managers, and I'm happy to come back. Scuba 2000 is hands down, the sorry, all my friends out there in the scuba industry, the prettiest dive store in the province, if not the country. Fantastic services, and they have one of the best service managers uh, anywhere in the country, and uh, wonderful instructors. Uh, I should know. <laughs> and uh, the new management team is doing their very best to continue to provide the best service uh, for scuba divers anywhere. If you get the chance, anywhere, if you're in Toronto, anywhere, get a chance to drop into Scuba 2000. It's pretty special. Okay, this is a real short one. Now, what I like to do sometimes on Tech Tips is tell you things that you possibly don't know. Now, some of you who uh, have a bit of a mechanical or an engineering background or are really handy and you've been doing machinery and stuff like that for a long time, you may know this, but the vast majority of skipper divers have no, the vast majority of people have no idea uh, what I'm talking about. But this is important. And it's also important for another reason. Even scuba service people often don't know this or forget it. And it can be very, very important. What I'm talking about is C-clips. See, what's, what's a C-clip? Well, as a matter of fact, you already know about C-clips. Well, you don't know about them, but you use them whenever you go scuba diving because most regulars have at least one, some have two or three C clips in them. C clip. It's short for sear clip or circle clip. C circle, which is shortened to sear, C I R clip, and that's shortened even more to C clip. So C hyphen clip. And a C clip is a mechanical device, it's kind of like a, a nail. For metal, yeah, you know a nail, you hammer a nail in to hold something in place, if it's not metal. A C-clip does kind of the same thing, it holds pieces together that are made of metal. And a C-clip looks like this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold this steady, Kevin, I don't know if you can zoom in on this. You see the two little holes? Yep. And you see it's got a split in it? Okay, now I'm going to turn it over, can I do that? Look at this side, folks, and I'm going to turn it over to see if you see a difference. Well, of course I see a difference, that's the bottom. <laughs> now, there is a difference which I'm going to explain, and that is the crucial thing about a C-clip. It really is the only method, the only mechanical method to hold two pieces together, particularly if those two pieces had to be disassembled at certain times. C-clip pliers, yeah, these are C-clip pliers, and, uh, and uh, they come in different types. These, these, there's some C-clips that go inside of a device. And there's some C-clips that go around the outside of a device. These are used, uh, used in your car, quite a few in your car. And if you have front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive or all-wheel all, all drive, and you must have one of those kind of drives, then there are C-clips in there. And the C-clip plier is simple. It fits into those two little holes. Here. Well, come in here nice and closely, Kevin. I'll hold the C-clip perfectly still. Folks will be able to see what happens. So the points on the C-clip pliers fit into those two little holes, you see. And then if you squeeze like that, the C-clip comes together just enough that you can drop it down inside and let go. And it opens up and clips in place. Okay? So that's, that's how they work. Well, what's the big deal? Well, it can be a very, very big deal. There are several of these in, in, in most scuba regulators. There's one for sure that holds the, uh, the filter in. Almost, almost all regulators use a C-clip to hold the filter in. Now, that's critical as well. And other places are even more critical. What's the big deal? Well, C-clip... C-clips actually do have a top and bottom. If you look at them quickly, you don't notice. And some service people with oh, C-clip, yeah, that goes in there, clip, <laughs> gone, and they just gone, forgotten about it. No, that's not good. C-clips have a top and a bottom. You see, these are punched out of metal. Spring, it's spring steel, and they go through a, a punch, a machine, <laughs> and millions of these are made, you know, because they're, they're thrown away every time you service anything. You always replace a C-clip. They lose their spring. And so they're, they're punched. So the punch comes down, and as the punch comes down, it pushes the C-clip metal into a die. It comes out. Well, when it does that, the bottom of that sheet of metal gets a little, a, little, a little curve on it. The top is perfectly flat, but the bottom gets a little bend because it's being forced into a die and cut off at the same time. So let me show you. Let me show you over here, okay? 
This is a, can you see that, Kev? This is a C-clip. This is the C-clip we're talking about, okay? Now, if you take a look at the C-clip from the side, very carefully, you will notice that, and, and this is the C-clip from the side, okay? So, so let me just quickly show you what I'm trying to illustrate. There's the C-clip. Okay, now look at it from the side. You're looking at the edge of it like this, you see, okay? Now, if you take a look at the C-clip from the side, you will notice that one side is flat. You see how this bottom edge here is flat? Can you see that, Kevin? Bottom edge is flat and sharp. You see that? And the top edge, the other side, is rounded. That's right. So this C-clip was punched, and so the, the one side is a little rounded, the other side is perfectly flat. Next time you see, or you're looking at, or ask your scuba serviceman about this, ask him if he knows about this, get a hold of one, and you'll see that this is the case. Now, it isn't completely obvious. You know, it doesn't have a big sign, just round side, flat side. You have to look at it carefully, and you'll find which is the top and which is the bottom. So what's the big deal? Well, it's really very simple. When a C-clip is installed, it has to be installed properly, right side up or right side down, whichever way you're looking at it. Let me, give, let me explain why. Let's assume that this blue part is the regulator, and this blue part is part of the body, whatever it happens to be, okay? And the C-clip fits inside and goes down a little ways and fits into a little groove. I should have drawn a little groove in there, you see, like that, Kevin? And, and, and so the C-clip is squeezed together, slides down, and... Oh, okay. You want to make a pause there? Don't keep going. I'll, I'll and, and, and the C-clip then is squeezed together with the C-clip pliers and goes down inside this blue tunnel, this metal tube, and when it gets down to the slot, it pops open and locks in place. Ah, exactly. Here's the problem. Pretending this is down in that groove and locked in place, and then you put pressure, whether it's air pressure or maybe another part of the regulator is pushing down on it. Pushes down. So the sharp edge at the bottom of the C-clip sits on the sharp edge of the groove. It won't come out. Ah, if this C-clip was flipped over, incorrectly installed, so that the curved edge is down, and now you push down on it, what can happen is this curved edge is like a little ramp on that sharp edge. And as you put pressure or weight against the C-clip, It'll actually squeeze together and pop out. Yeah, there you go. A lot of the service people don't know that simple fact. A C-clip has a top and a bottom, and it has to be installed correctly so that the sharp, flat edge is tight against the groove and faces away from the pressure. The pressure is pushing down on that sharp edge. I hope that's clear. If it isn't clear, make a comment, and I can post a picture or something for you. But there you go. C-clips. Little things you didn't know about seat clips. There you go. And these are used a great deal in, uh, in uh, skip array. There's large ones. There's really, really tiny ones, uh, you know, the uh, size of a, a lead pencil. They're big ones as well. But generally in scuba diving, they range from, from three-eighths of an inch to about an inch and a half. Academic, they're all the same. They have a top and a bottom. And there's almost invariably pressure of some sort acting on one side of the seat clip. You need to be careful that that seat clip is faced with the sharp edges matching withstanding the pressure so it can't ramp or slide out of there and pop out of there. That would be, it could be in some cases, disastrous for the scuba diver if that happened. Small things you maybe didn't know. If you guys are mechanically inclined, you probably know this stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video anyway. I got some more things to talk about. Now, we're going to be here at Scuba 2000 for a little while, so if you have more comments and questions, and keep sending in suggestions. A lot of my uh, tech tips are from suggestions that you sent me. Okay, guys, talk to you real soon. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. That's Scuba 2000.